All you need to practice this is some sort of stable box or bench corner like this. The ideal height to learn on is just slightly lower than your hips, but higher than your knees. To start with then, you just want to put your hands on the corner like this and hop over it. Try to create this turning pivot motion with the body by pulling on the front hand and you want to feel some of the weight in your shoulders. You want to try and land with the body facing back the way you came from. You can see from this example that I'm not trying to clear the edge just yet. I'm just trying to get used to turning and taking the weight in my upper body. Next, after you've prepped this a few times in this way and are starting to get used to the pivoting action, we're going to stay on the corner, but now you want to start to imagine the edge continues out and start to think about how you could clear this in one spin. If it helps, you can use some safe object to do so, like a piece of paper, a piece of card, or a ruler, etc. The main key to the palm spin is that your center of mass actually stays on the outside of the object you're spinning on. What I mean by this is as you can see here, that as I do the spin, my shoulders don't actually go over the object, and there is almost this 45 degree angle of my right arm as I jump over it. It's sort of an illusion, as the feet glide over the object, but not your weight. So you want to get the weight in your hands and lead arm as much as possible, whilst keeping it away from the block. After a few more reps, with this in mind, the next thing to think about is hand positioning. When we do a palm spin on an edge, the front hand supports our weight, whilst the back hand pushes us to rotate. So to prepare properly, move the hands from this position on the corner to both being on the edge set up like this. As I'm spinning clockwise, I use my right hand to support my body weight through my palm as I spin, and my left hand helps push me into the spin. If you're left-handed, you might find it more comfortable to palm spin in the opposite direction, in which case reverse my instructions. And finally, when you feel confident, and this may take a few sessions for the body to really understand the motion, you can start to inch your way back down from the corner along the edge till you can do it like this. The main risk here is that if you were to do it on a long wall, and if you don't get all the way over, your feet might clip the edge. So take as many attempts as you need to feel confident. It might help to film yourself from the side to see where your feet are going. Remember, the front hand takes your weight and the second hand assists in the spinning and you basically jump over your arm and pivot as you go. Your body should go through a full 180, so your feet in landing should end up pointing the exact opposite way they were in takeoff. You may get it first go or it may take a few sessions. Just be patient and trust your body and trust the process. And hopefully in time, you'll have a cool new trick to show your gym buddies. Progressions. From here, there are other variations of the palm spin, like the pole spin, the reverse palm spin, and the wall flash kick. But for now, I'll leave you with that quick win with the palm spin. <laughs>